Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxus 3D Shallow Foundation course from theory to practice. In this uh, lesson we are going to simulate the isolated footing under vertical load uh, plus uh, the moment force. So if you remember in lesson uh, 21 we applied the eccentric uh, load uh, at uh, 0 0.10 uh, meter away from uh, the center of the foundation so in uh, this tutorial we will not uh, apply the eccentric uh, load at uh, some distance uh, away from the center of the foundation so we will uh, apply the vertical load uh, on the center of the foundation and also the moment in uh, this direction so it is very simple uh, all the properties and the dimensions are similar to the lesson 21 that's why uh, first of all I will open the plexus uh, file from lesson 21 and I will save under a different name this one will be lesson 22 so I will save in uh, lesson 22 so I will uh, copy this name double click on this file and paste okay so right now this is uh, this will be a lesson 22 so instead of eccentric load we will uh, apply the load at the center of the foundation and uh, in addition we will apply the moment so also we can uh, select a point for curve after the calculation the center of the uh, foundation uh, 0 0 10 these are the coordinates of the center of the uh, foundation we click on this node which is plate ok and we save again so uh, it is ready for calculation uh, so we start to calculate so I will post a video to uh, decrease uh, the tutorial length okay the calculation is finished and we can uh, investigate the calculation results by clicking uh, view calculation results as we can see this is uh okay this is a deformed shape of the problem as we can see in here so it is almost similar to the previous example because uh, in the previous example we used uh, the equivalent uh, force system from this example actually and we can also investigate the total displacement and we can take a section like this and also the displacement is almost similar to the previous example and we can see like that so uh, again you can check the moment and shear force and axial force uh, by double click on the foundation and uh, after that uh, the a new menu will appear here which is force and right now we uh, can extract the load settlement curve from uh, curve manager so we click on new and multiplier m stage this node and we are interested in the displacement in z direction and after that we deactivate our uh, data from first and the second so we convert uh, this uh, or we uh, export this uh, load settlement curve from plexus to excel and I already have done in here so uh, this uh, load settlement curve is from uh, lesson 22 and this one was from uh, lesson 21 so as we can see that uh, there is also a small uh, difference uh, between the load uh, settlement curves uh, between the equivalent uh, eccentric force and in case of uh, axial load plus moment so uh, it is clear that uh, 
uh, equivalent system cannot uh, uh, present exactly as uh, when we apply the uh, vertical load plus moment and always uh, there is some difference but the difference are in uh, uh, acceptable uh, acceptable range so we can say it is almost uh, similar so this was for uh, this example and uh, thank you for watching see you in the next lesson